Good day, ABM Business Finance Learners. In this video, we will discuss the money management cycle. This is the last lesson for business finance. The most essential learning competency for this topic is you, the learner, can illustrate the money management cycle and gives examples of sound practices in earning, spending, saving, and investing money. Before we proceed to our topic, let us know first an individual perception about money. So for some, money is the most important thing to have and is said to be the root of all evils. It is being looked at differently by people around us anywhere and anytime. To some people, money means security, while to others, money is power or self-sufficiency. How does money revolve around an individual? Money makes the world go around. Without money, economy would fall. And that is why even the coronavirus is still a threat now for everyone, our government still allowed businesses to operate so that our economy would still survive. So, how does the money flows in an individual's hands? Let us look at these four money cycles for different individuals. So, first we have cycle one, the earn, spend, earn, spend. For this cycle, the individuals who are living and dependent only on the amount to be received every payday. After receiving the amount of salary every payday, it will be spent. And if not enough, earn some more and spend it again. So, people who belong to this cycle are those whose expense level is almost equal to his or her income level. So for example, if they are earning 5,000 weekly and he or she will spend all that 5,000 pesos. Since he or she is used to spending just how much she or he earned, so whenever they encounter unexpected expenses, they have no other way but to borrow. That is when the cycle 2 would enter. So what is the cycle 2? The cycle 2 is earn, spend, borrow, spend. So in this cycle, is for individuals who have the intricacy of living beyond their means due to the difficulty of denying themselves anything. So these individuals are easily confused with wants and needs because they are convinced they deserve whatever they want and feel and so deserve it now they earn money spend all of that and then borrow more money and spend that so as a result they rely on credit to establish and maintain the standard of living they feel they are entitled to or deserve next is the cycle three so for the cycle three, that is earn, spend, and save. So this cycle is for a group who believes in saving money. One of their philosophies is that they will and can save everything after they have taken care of their wants and needs. However, most of the time, the money is just enough for their necessities and nothing is left for savings. So as a result, there's rarely enough money to go around. Rarely can get this group to get ahead and get frustrated easily because they know saving is important but don't know how to save. The last cycle is the earn, save, and spend. So for this cycle is for the group that understands the importance of savings. They know the basic rule of financial security. They have arranged their priorities to put savings first. This group earns money, saves some immediately, and budgets or spends what is left. Saving is a priority because they understand its role in meeting short and long-term goals and creating financial stability. 
This group is also the best at budgeting. They know what they need to live on, adjust their lifestyle when necessary, and have goals to work for. They focus on getting out of debt or carrying minimum monthly obligations. So those are the four money cycles that works for an individual. Now let us proceed to personal financial activities. So these are the financial activities of a person or a family. So first is earning, followed by saving, next is spending, and last is investing. Now let us see how a person or a family basically earns money. Because at this part of our lesson, we already know the other way on how to earn money. But let us go to the basic. Earning money. Money doesn't just fall out from the sky like rain when needed. To have money, there is a need to look for a job and work for money. So the first or the basic way on how to earn money is through receiving a wages. So wages is a fixed hourly or daily rate of pay for a standard set number of hours or days. Next is a piece of work. This type is based on each item produced or processed. Next is receiving a salary. Salary is a payment of work involved semi-monthly, monthly, or per annum. Next is through receiving a commission. So commission is a payment of work is paid a small retainer or flat fee plus either a percentage of the amount of the sales generated. Next activity is saving money. Saving is a voluntary act and it doesn't happen by accident. It involves active work towards it. It is not easy to meet savings goals and it requires a lot of determination. So we have here an example of savings tips that can be implemented. So first, arrange for an automatic saving. So an automatic arrangement with the employer's bank for savings deposit at a fixed amount each payday. Next, separate savings account. So a separate savings account with a different from a primary checking account will help in avoiding buying unnecessary things. This will limit access or knowing how much money is in the savings account that keeps away to impulse buying. Next, create separate bank accounts. So create separate accounts for every goal to unleash like a vacation savings account or a car savings account. If there is a different savings account associated with a particular financial goal, it becomes easier to measure its progress and stay motivated. Next, save your loose change. Keeping loose Change in an empty jar is a good start of saving money, and this provides an excellent way to have emergency funds at hand. Last, avoid overdraft in bounce check fees. Do not issue a check without sufficient bank balance. The money that can be saved on these fees is better spent on productive purposes, which is a sound money practice. Next. Personal financial activity is spending money. Spending money in most cases can be difficult to stop, but with the right approach, it is possible that money to spend can be saved instead. So, this, here are the tips in spending money wisely. First, pay in cash. Using cash in payment can contribute to an individual's ability to budget money better. This is the best way to keep shopping within an individual's budget. Next, track your expenses. Tracking our expenses help us to identify and eliminate wasteful spending habits and help us maintain control of our finances. Next, avoid impulse purchases. 
impulse purchases is bad for our wallet and would lead to financial consequences like we can't achieve our financial goals. Last, payment of credit card bills and other bills on time to avoid charges. Because every time you pay your credit card bill or other bill late, you will incur a fee. So better pay on time to avoid it. Last personal financial activity is investing money. Investing money is not only for those who enjoy financial freedom. Starting investing money at a young age will end up getting more money because of compounding rates of return. There are some ways to start investing money. First, speak to someone knowledgeable about money investment. Next, the familiarity with the investment opportunities will lead to a fruitful undertaking. And last, a diversification of investment. Different types of investment were discussed in Lesson 10, Introduction to Investment, and why we need to diversify our investment was also discussed in Lesson 11, Risk in Investment. Well, that's all for this semester. Thank you so much, future finance managers.